Sam. All right then, we're back. Today, we're going to put together something that's simple and easy. We're going way back in the day. When you could go to your kitchen, if you didn't have a lot of ingredients, if you just had flour, butter, and nutting egg, and milk, you could put together a great uh, delicious dessert to go along with your dinner. So what you do is, is you start with your flour. I've already sifted the flour and you make something like a well in the bottom. And when you do that, and what I did, I added a tablespoon of sugar and a fourth of a spoon of salt in the flour. That's all you need. Then I'm going to add the uh, shortening. I'm going to get a big heaping teaspoon of shortening. Along with that, I'm going to put about Half of this uh, stick of margarine in there. And kind of start mixing it together. After I get it down in here some, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding cold water. You always want to use cold water. Believe me, it works better. And then what I'll do, I'll use my fork. All right, and you start to mix it. And your flour will start falling down because you've made a well in the bottom of your bowl. And you just mix this together. And keep mixing it and add you some more cold water and keep stirring mixing it in and believe it or not it's gonna come out great it's gonna make a wonderful wonderful butter roll Mix it together, and it's going to end up in a ball. And what you do is, you put it on the counter, put a little flour down, and you, you're going to have to knead it. And once you start doing that, you roll it out when you finish kneading it. There's the little... We don't care. It's all right. It ain't nothing but water. And we're almost to the point that we want to be. Yeah. It's going to make a nice ball. Not hard to do at all. Get this excess off this fork. There we go. Now, what we do now is we're going to push back on this and we're going to turn this over. And as you turn it over, kind of start kneading it already. 
and you want your flour on the counter where you're going to roll it out. You need enough flour down so it won't stick. And here we go. And you take your time and you start to knead this dough and knead it. It don't take a lot of time, but you just got to knead it so it can stick together. That's all you got to do is knead it and knead it. So it won't keep, if it's keeps sticking to your hand, then you know you need to need it some more. Alright. I can tell it's almost there by the way it feels. And I'm sure you can see the texture starting to change. Okay. And here we go. Some more flour. You need to keep you plenty of flour at hand. So it won't stick to your surface. That's the main thing. more flour can I get here okay. and what I'm gonna do because you're gonna make rolls I'm gonna cut this in half here there we go set this one back over in there Kind of spread this out and we'll need this so I can get start rolling and it'll let me know if I need to add a little more flour to it when I start to uh, rolling it out what I like about this recipe, it doesn't take a whole lot of time either. Okay, here we go. Here we are. We're starting to roll. And we roll a while. Then when you think you can turn it over, it kind of helps you when you turn it over like this to test it too, to make sure it's not going to stick. Okay. All right. Looking good. Looking good. And you want to. Roll it out enough. Let me see. For my pan. Get my pan. It's a little. So I can measure. Okay. That's. Okay. You want to roll it out far enough where it'll be thin enough. But then again, you don't want it too thin because it's going to rise. Okay. Now, here comes the fun part. Okay. I need a knife. 
Here can go nice. I thought I put one up here, but I guess I didn't. But if I don't have one, I know how to improvise. And get the sugar down. And what we do, we can start out. Open that, give me a cup of sugar. This is the way you do it. You go around, get another cup, and what you do is kind of spread your sugar out. All righty then. That's what I'm talking about. Back in the day, hey, can't beat it. If you ain't got but two dollars and fifty cents, you could go in the kitchen if you had flour, butter, nutmeg, and sugar. Hey, what I'm talking about. You could come up with a dessert. And guess what? Everybody liked it. And you just cut your chunks of margarine and butter and put on the inside. And what I normally do to kind of jazz it up, I use some margarine and I use some butter. Okay. Come on back here. You ain't going nowhere. Hop your little butt right on back. Alrighty then. Okay. We got that, we got the sugar, and guess what? Mm. All we need is the nutmeg. Didn't I tell you this was going to be plain and simple? Okay. Ooh, I can smell that nutmeg. Mm -hmm. Then what we're going to do, we're going to gently fold this over. And we're going to fold this one back because a lot of times this is what it'll do. It'll unfold and you can tuck your ends in. See that shortening makes your, your dough real pliable. But that's okay. shortening. The dough is so pliable until give me a spatula down there. I that drawer down there. See, don't you see a spatula? There we go. You don't have to worry about anything coming out. It's all gravy. Okay. So, got to do another one. Here we are. We're going to add some more flour. 
for the next one. doesn't feel good. You can usually tell how it's going to come out by the way your dough feels. Oh, it's going to be tender. Okay. All right. We're going to start rolling. What you do is turn it over, spread some more flour, roll again, roll it, roll it. every which way you can. You roll it till you get it to the shape that you think it needs to be. Once you do that, cup of sugar. Start with a with your sugar, and you're probably going to use about two cups of sugar. Say, I'm ready. What you gonna do? Because I'm ready. Come on now. Get in the house. Okay. And it doesn't matter how you put this down. There's no certain way you have to throw it in here. Okay. Now. Got that one down. And we're going to put a little margarine in there. Kind of mix it up. And the butter going to set. I'm better than you. The margarine say you ain't nothing without me. That's what I'm talking about. So I run this show. I'm around when folk ain't got enough money to buy butter. Nah. What I'm talking about. You the boss with the hot sauce. Okay. Now here we go. Nothing in it. Nothing in it. Here we are. Oh, this nothing in it. Smells good. You can tell it's good. Nothing in it. And when you're putting stuff together like this, you do need good products to cook with. Okay. Never forget that. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. And fold this back and press it down. What we're going to do now, we're going to put this and that in the other pan. Let's, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Make sure it doesn't stick. Go. And now, all we have to do now, 
Let's add the milk. Evaporated milk at that. No whole milk. Evaporated milk. And what you do is, you want your milk to just about cover your pan. And when you you see how how far the milk comes up, you always have your extra can on the side. You put it in your oven. You let it cook at about 3:30 for about 30 minutes. After then, then you pump it up to about 375. And after about 30 minutes, you can see 30 or 40 minutes if you need to add some more milk. The, the key to this, you do not want it to come out dry. It has to be moist. It kind of has its own little sauce down in the bottom. Okay? Now, that's it. So... What are we going to put this to you get ready to put in the oven? Or uh, do it go in there now? Yeah. Oh, oven now. Okay. You want me to put it in there? Okay, so you're going to have to break away. Oh, okay. Okay, we're going to put this in the oven, and when it's finished, we will come back, and you'll get a chance to see the finished product. Great.